Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumiset. Today we'll see one of the real-time use case of snowflake procedure. So requirement is that what I'm having one fraud schema. In this fraud schema, assume like there are 100 tables added. So my requirement is that what I want to take all the 100 tables back up without data. See here in this fraud schema, 100 tables are there with the data, real-time data. But requirement is that what I want to take all the 100 tables, tables. So without data, I want to copy only the definition. So data is not required, only the definition I want to copy. Okay, see the same thing. So tables creation without data. So with the help of procedure, I want to go for a reusability purpose. So before going to the concept, let us understand, you should have better understanding of the following topics like what is database, how to create the database and the schema. So what is like execute immediate, so processor concept, information schema, looping and capture. If you know this concept, the requirement clear and easily we can able to develop the requirement. Okay. Let us see some of the basics, how to create the database, how to create the schema. And one more thing is that what is so table by using a like. So by using like we can able to create a table without data we can go for cloning but cloning what we get the data also will be populated for this use case we should go for like the cons so see this is so for and understand the snowflake process in there so create or replace procedure our procedure name so see what happened returns the data type as syntax normal syntax begin and end so return keyword hello whenever i call this person what will get so hello snowflake developers will get it okay Okay, and one more update is that what self-paced videos are there. I'll try to give the link in the description. Check it out. Okay, so we'll log into the Snowflake application and try to make it working in detail. Okay, this is the Snowflake Snowsite UI. First, we should go for the database, use database. So my database is, this is my database, control enter. So we'll see step-by-step, step, use schema. So my schema is, so broad scheme, okay, see the same thing. So control and that. How's the list of tables by using select the star from, so information scheme, see information schema dot tables. Okay, see the same thing, tables. Now see what happens, so tables, see number of records are available, okay. Now I want only table type is waste tables, okay, where, so table, Type equals to base table. I want to take only the base tables. Okay. So control V. Okay. So this is the first we need to find the list of tables. Okay. See. So this is my list of tables. How many tables are there approximately? Approximately you can say there are so many tables are there. But what is the requirement? I want to take only this database and this schema. How to take only this database and then table catalog equals to so this is my database so i'm going to take the particular scheme okay so table schema okay so what's my schema name so prod scheme when now writing now follow the coding alignment okay see the same thing now how many tables are there see approximately so see 43 tables are there with the data is there but requirement is that what I want to take only table definition only I want to take. Okay, so before that, let me make sure like how, okay, how can we take a table data, table without definite, without a data. So one more time. So I want to take table data, sorry. So requirement is that what I want to take a backup of a table Okay, without data, simply structure, I want to get it. It's a definition, I want to get. So how can you get, we are having the concept of what, see? So create table, so table name, so like, so by using like, okay, world table. Okay, see simple example. Now see what happened, take any table, see, five records are there. So this is my table. Okay, see the table, select them. Start from now. How many records are there? See, there are five records are there. Okay, five records are there. 
Now I want to take a backup. So create table. So test one. Like see the same thing. Now what happened if I query the same thing? Now what happened? Select the star from. Now we get only definition. So data is not populated. So this is requirement is fine. But what happened if for one or two tables? I can write manually. But how many tables are there? Almost like forty plus tables are there. I can't able to write each and everything. Now we should go for what concept? We should go for okay procedure concept. So by using cursor concept and by using loop concept. So before that, you need to understand what is fully qualified name. So fully qualified name is nothing but what? So database name dot schema name dot object name. Because see the same thing. Suppose see if I go for employee table, the employee table can be in development database, fraud database, test database. Always make sure like go for fully qualified name. So the database name. The schema name and the object name. So this is called as fully qualified name. So first to form the structure. Now what is requirement? So create. So table where exactly I want to create? Okay, the same we can say. Or it's like let me create one new development database. New development schema. So table one. So like from where I want to go for? Okay. Prod DB, prod schema, okay, and table, okay. So this is the functionality. Okay, one second, give me. Okay, see, this is the fully qualified name. So new database, new schema, and this is my table. From prod database, prod schema, table. Okay, see so now what happened? From this one, we can able to get the whole database. Nothing but the source database. I can able to get. See. So see the same thing. Now I want to get what I want to get the fully qualified name. How getting fully qualified name? Just how to club two strings with the help of concatenator pipe symbol. So table database. So table schema and the table name. Okay, see the same thing. Control V. Okay. Now requirement is that what I want to club. How to club all the things with the help of pipe symbol? Okay. So this is. So writing the database name and the schema name concatenated with the table. Okay. So see, we are getting source database, source schema, and source table. So this is so far good. Okay. So as of now, this is we are getting the source database. Nothing but prod database, prod schema, and the table is we are getting. Okay. Now we need to go for reusability. Nothing but what? How can you go for reusability? Go for what concept? Go for Procedure concept. Okay, so let me write the syntax for the procedure. Okay, so you need to go step by step. That's it. Okay, so what is syntax for procedure? Create or replace procedure procedure name. So table creation prop. Okay, so procedure. So returns what we want to get returns var char as dollar dollar. Dollar dollar. Okay, so this is so far good. Okay, now what happened? Now I want to go for declare section, begin, and end. Okay, follow as this. Okay, end. So this is the declaration section, execution section. Now what happened? Now I want to put this thing. Now what happened? I want to store more than one value. How can I store more than one value? We should go for what concept? Go for Go for see this. A variable can hold only one value. If I want to store more than one value, we should go for what concept? Go for cursor concept. Okay, see. So table list cursor. Okay, see this is the syntax. The cursor name cursor for. Okay, so this is the syntax. This entire result set we are storing in this cursor variable. So table list cursor. Cursor for so this is so for this is the declaration section. Next thing is that what now we need to go for see what happen. Take the syntax. Okay, so create so data create table table name. So where I want to put in the in the execution block. Okay, see first to go with the static thing, then go with dynamic thing. So create so new database. The same thing. Now, what happened here? You need to understand what. So this cursor declared. So this is the declaration of the cursor. 
second step is to open the third cell open third cell so this is the second step okay so declaring the third cell opening the third cell then what happen i want to see create table so table one table two table like this 40 tables i can't write step by step for this purpose what we should go for what concept go for looping concept see for i in so see 10 i in 20 now i want to make it dynamic now how many times how can i able to where we can able to figure out from the cursor in suppose in the cursor 100 tables are there it will look for 100 times so for i in cursor name so see do okay end for so this is the syntax so open the cursor this is the looping concept for i in generally what happened one to ten nothing but ten times it will look so 20 times now instead of going for static what i want to make it dynamic so dynamic how many how we are getting from this concept for i in this is the concept now what happened now what i need to look control x control v getting us so this is the function okay now how we are getting this value prod db put one alias okay so source name okay so source name, okay so copy the source name and the put here that's it simple okay so this is the same thing so create a table table so database and the schema so first let me create this database this schema okay for understanding perspective i'm trying to create a new database so create or replace database so this is my database Okay, so database has been created. Same thing, create or replace schema. Okay, so this is my scheme. Okay, so now what happened? New dev db, dev schema. Show table, see what happened as of now? No tables are available. Now I want to get all the 42 tables in this database, in this schema without without it data. So see, that's what the functionality, okay now. So database is the schema is there. So create table, new database, and new schema. So this is so far good. Now here, which one is getting changing? So the table name is getting changing, see? So create, then we'll go for re replace, create or replace table. So new database, new schema. Up to here, it is static. Now what happened? How we are getting this table name generally? Tell me. So see, so we'll put everything inside a string, okay? Now we want to store this one as a variable, okay? See, SQL statement. How can you assign by using this assignment operator? So simple thing, one more time. So see, now we are constructing the statement. That's why I'm trying to put in one variable, SQL statement. If I want to use this variable, what happened? First, we need to declare them. So declare it's a var cat. So declare the variable. So we are assigning create or replace table, new database, new schema, like. Now what happened? New database, new schema, now table name. Now how are we writing this table name from where? From this? We put something like TV. So this entire table list is storing in this variable. Again, it will go for T1. T2. Now this table contains our table name. So db dot source name. Okay, see. So db. How to club two strings? By using pipe symbol. So db dot source name. Source name. Okay, just we are trying to construct the statement. So db dot source name. Okay, see. Up to here, this is create or replace database name schema name and the table name is getting populated from here like okay now again what happened tell me let me expand a bit okay now see let me remove the functionality we'll try to construct so see now he up to here this is string now how to club again tell me again we need to club with the help of pipe symbol see so from here to here this is a string how to club this thing with the help of pipe symbol getting the pointer huh? somewhat so see now how to get his source name again, tell me, one second, give me. Here one thing you need to get what, so source table is getting, see SR's name, SR's name. This is the full, this is what database name, schema name and all. This is the source, source database. So we're getting from what, from TB dot SR's. This is so far good. 
But what happened? Create a replace table. So database already there, schema is already there. Now I want to get a table name. I want to get only table name. So copy the same thing and put this is the catch. You need to put it. Okay, control V. So target table. Okay, suppose I'll put source table. Okay, so SRC table. Okay, source table and the target. We'll put one case. So target. Okay, see so target table. Okay, so target table where I want to put. So here target table. Okay, so getting the point. Um, so now what is the output we get? Create or replace table. So new date target database, target schema, target table. From where I want to get from the so already fully qualified name. Source database, source schema. We can able to make it working. How many times this this will be looping? This will be looping for how many times? Forty two times. Forty two or forty three times. Okay, so far good. Now for completion, now what happened? Statement has been constructed. Now how to execute the statement by using what? By using execute immediate. So we are constructed with the statement. Now I want to execute. How can we execute? Execute immediate. So how can we execute by passing this SQL statement? Okay, so this is the concept. Now for completion of how can you know that successfully or not? We need to go for return keyword. So what I want to return? Return. Return so tables created successfully, successfully without data. Okay, just one confirmation message. So, okay, so see this is the functionality. Okay, so declaring the process. First, we need to understand the first. We this is the main thing. So, first, we need to get the source table and the target table. I want to go for iteration for loop. Okay, construct the statement. And try first to try to create the same thing, whether it is working fine or not, then we can able to make it working. Okay. Now what happened? Let me how to call by using call procedure name, see whether it's working fine or not, then we can able to understand control enter. Now see table created successfully without data. How can you confirm? See, show tables not yet populated. Some issue happening. Okay. Now, what is issue? We need to check it then. One second, give me. Okay, see the issue is that what where exactly our process are created. See now, if exit now, it is not giving any result because we are pointing to which database? Different database. So we should select the our proper database. Okay, SFDBT. So okay, prod scheme. Now see the same thing. Like it's only some issues there. Like you can okay, see now what append tables are available. Let me create the same thing one more time. Let me call. Now see, show now see what happened. So see. So see, tables are getting created successfully. Simple thing. Now how to confirm? So use database. This is my database. Okay. Use schema. This is my schema. Now see what happened. Now we we'll get all the forty days. See show tables. So forty tables. See the row count. What's the row count? Zero zero. So this is the functionality. Got the point? Uh, okay. See this is the requirement. One more time, two minutes. I'll try to cover it up. So see requirement is that what in the fraud date in the this see what happened in this database in this schema there are so many tables are there with the data. But what happened? I want to get the definition in this database in this schema without data so see how can we achieve which go for like concept so before that first to make sure like we are getting list of tables the fully qualified name and the target table so second step is that what i want to go for iteration process so construct this statement fully qualified name so this is the same thing we can able to make it working okay i hope this clear like this only try to solve this requirement you will get Content on this snowflake thing. So, this snowflake process are very, very important. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.